Professor Chu spoke about leadership, and he said, behind every great leader is a good mother. Well, I think, what is a good mother? I think behind every great leader is good brain development. When children are little, wherever they are in the world, if they are treated with loving kindness, with empathy, in other words, they have the ability to develop empathy. If they didn't get it at the breast, they can get it around green blankets or around other people outside their family, in their neighborhood, who are empathic. We have an incredible opportunity and responsibility to live intentionally, to appreciate that the children watch us all the time. We are their greatest teachers, not through lessons, but through life. The way we give back the change, the way we don't avert our eyes when we see someone begging, or we see someone who's disfigured in some way. How we live our lives, our excitement about being able to contribute. And in order to have a sense of self-efficacy, to feel like you are a person, you must be able to contribute in some way. And this is true for the youngest child. The youngest child who can't walk yet, when you feed them, they try and feed you back. In goes one spoonful of peas. A spoonful of peas is offered to the adult. As well as being able to contribute, to have a civil society where everyone can be a change maker, we must set a place at the table for everybody. If they come in a wheelchair, a high chair, or a rocking chair. The sense of belonging is crucial to civil society. So the capacity to contribute, to allow people to be a contributor. That means that we must give up our fierce independence and look at the notion of interdependence. That in order to cast the future, we must rely on one another, we must trust one another, we must support one another. And as Bill says, not everybody can be a Mr. Park. But all the people who work with him are change makers. And he is the leader. And this idea of Picasso saying that he lived his whole life till he was 80 so that he could learn to paint like a child with the simplicity and the purity and the confidence We've spoken a lot about confidence, about um, self-confidence. And I think so many people ache to feel good about themselves. Well, you can only feel good about yourself when you feel good about the other. And it is a chain. It is like popcorn. When we start individual change-making, we do change one another. We change society. We change tomorrow. So this idea of solidarity in change making, respecting the space for somebody else to make a difference, acknowledging that space, joining them in that space, not taking over but riding with, noticing, living out loud, all of these things are very human, and the most human. The common denominator, which links us in a chain of human potential, is empathy. Being able to understand the other, being able to understand what they think and they feel, and then caring, having the emotion to be able to understand their emotion. And that is early brain development, we have a societal imperative to hold the parent in the palm of our hands because if we fail to support that early child rearing, the family unravels and so does the society. And we spend our time putting band-aids on what we should have prevented. 
the power of the family to change the future, to empower every individual to be a change maker and to nurture social entrepreneurs. People who believe in themselves. Mr. Park didn't fall out of a tree. He grew up in a family. Somebody respected what he thought. Somebody believed in him. Somebody encouraged him. Somebody was always there to say, try again. Or what do you think might work? Or what have you tried? Instead of telling him what to do, we spend so much time telling children what to do. Instead of listening to what their dreams are, what their hopes are. If we just listened to the children, we would hear about a future that maybe none of us have been able to sketch on a canvas. Because the canvas that children have is infinite. Their way of thinking is different. And if you're going to build this house that will be full of light and full of hope, you start with the basement. And that's childhood. If you construct a solid basement, the rest of the house will grow. But if you just put on an attic, the whole frame might shatter. So we can always make change. There's no time that's too late as long as there's a heartbeat. We can still change and we shouldn't give up. But if we are a wise society, we will appreciate that the moral future of the universe rests on the breath of the little children. And we will invest our time and energies in supporting them, in loving them, in ensuring solid brain development that will give them the capacity to work interdependently to build the future that they deserve. So I think the things that have gone on, what we've heard about here in this panel, about the Down syndrome, the power of the passion and the compassion of parents to change the world so that their children will have a place. You cannot stop the power of love. We just have to join it up and not just to decide to love the people in our own family, but to love all the people. And when we do that, the children watch us. But if we say, oh, don't talk to him, he's dirty. Or no, this child can't come to play, they're different from us. The children learn how big our hearts are or how confined they are. So we have a remarkable moment in time here. As Bill was saying, a historical moment. The fact that Dr. Shim and the university invited us to dream together, to share our stories, but to lace our life with dreams is not an accident. It's an opportunity which we cannot throw away so that when we finish today, we've only begun that we find one another to make sure we link arms for the future. And there's no any one answer. It's about asking the right question. So I think we've had wonderful questions here. And I find this a very hopeful place to be. And I want to thank everybody for hoping together and for the organization of making this and for Bill Drayton's enormous, fantastic, phenomenal imagination, creativity, and well-defined dream. Thank you.